What's going on everyone? So I went and saw the new comic book movie. It's called Bloodshot and it stars Vin Diesel. And if you were like me, you never heard of this character before. Uh, actually, I started reading some of his comics when I found out they were going to make a movie. And I'm a Vin Diesel fan, and so I was like, I'm going to see this, but I want to do some uh, studying on who this character even is. So here I am to give you the quick version of the movie review and who is Bloodshot. We're going to start with who is Bloodshot. So just like Marvel, it has their, you know, is their own company and they have their own properties. DC is the same way. Valiant is their own company, and Bloodshot is one of their most uh, popular characters. So uh, to compare Bloodshot, though, to some known characters, uh, I'm going to use Wolverine and the Punisher. Now, like Wolverine, the whole Weapon X program, you got to think of that kind of concept of Wolverine. He, uh, he's basically a science experiment and uh, has no memory beforehand, or Bloodshot similar thing instead of no memory though it's kind of amnesia and i don't want to talk too much about that but uh there's just definitely a lot of similarities with that and obviously the whole regeneration um as i'm sure you've seen in the trailers now i compare him to punisher as well because punisher or the whole anti-hero concept you know they want to do good but they have absolutely no problem killing bad guys so uh, that's why I definitely put him in the anti-hero category uh, because there's a lot of that. And uh, so let's dive into this movie. I think let's just carry on from that. This movie is actually PG-13. Um, it, it really surprised me seeing the movie and then afterwards I saw that the rating was only that. I assumed it was R because uh, it's pretty violent. Now, uh, gore-wise and things, uh, pretty much what you see in the trailer is a lot of it um, because it's not, uh, well, I don't want to talk about that necessarily. Uh, it's, let's just say it's not fully blood. Let's, uh, let's go with that. And, um, and so, uh, but there's a lot of gun violence for sure. Now, there is a love scene at the beginning of this film uh, with Tallulah Riley and Vin Diesel, and uh, they don't, they both have no shirts on, and you don't see anything in like the front aspect, but you see all the other angles for sure. So, uh, so those are the two things that really stood out to me, and it's really just because of the violence actually that I'm surprised it was uh, downgraded from an R to a PG-13. So, there you have it. Uh, you can dictate, you know, where you fall with that, uh, whether you want your kids and that kind of stuff to see that, because uh, there's a lot of shooting. So uh, let's dive into some of the cast, though, you know, because I mentioned Vin Diesel and Tallulah Riley. Uh, somebody that uh, I thought did an amazing job was Isaac Gonzalez. Uh, she plays a character called KT. Uh, it's the letters KT. Uh, she was amazing. So uh, the funniest guy in this uh, film, though, is Lamorne Morris. He, he is absolutely funny. Uh, so get ready to see his character. Uh, another person I just definitely want to talk about is Guy Pierce. This guy, for me, he just never seems like he looks the part for any movie that I've seen with him in it. But then when you watch the movie, I'm like, man, he's, he's awesome at this. Uh, I don't know what it is about him, but just something about his persona is kind of like, he just never looks like uh, the character you want him to look like. But then when he's just doing it, he's just crushing it. So... Guy Pierce is in this and uh, does an amazing job. Uh, there's many more characters in this, uh, or actors in this film, so uh, be, be definitely looking for it. Uh, I think they put together a pretty well-rounded cast, and uh, I think you're going to be surprised a little bit. Because uh, for how much action is, there's quite a bit of comedy and a little bit of suspense. Now, I, I do say a little bit because you know, we always hear people complaining about, oh, they show too much in the trailers, and... Uh, for the most part, I, I do sometimes agree with that. This time, though, I am going out on a limb and saying they showed everything in this trailer. This is the only time it's really, really bugged me. So if you haven't seen the trailer or uh, you haven't seen it in a while, don't watch the trailer again because um, it literally leaves no room for any surprises. Uh, that's why I say a little bit of suspense, just because you literally feel like you've seen it all. 
So don't watch the trailer. Uh, but going back into this, this movie was directed by Dave Wilson. And this is his uh, big big film directal directal uh, uh, film that he directed. Uh, so uh, he's been a part of other things. Another cool thing is he's part of the visual effects for Avengers and Star Wars. And so I do want to kind of uh, just compliment him because I thought the CGI and all the special effects for Bloodshot was amazing. I mean, I thought they were truly incredible. The, there's one scene in this film I'm not going to necessarily talk about in detail because, like the trailer, I don't want to ruin anything. All of a sudden, you go from Bloodshot with all this amazing CGI and stuff to this one scene that looks now like a video game. Uh, absolutely terrible. So, so then, uh, it just kind of confused me. I was just like, how can you go back and forth? And then there's another scene in this movie where they just do so much slow-mo, like, uh, even though it was cool, like, it just got old so quickly because it was so slow. Uh, it just, it was kind of repetitive out of that, and, uh, so those two scenes I just didn't really care for as much as they probably wanted you to, you know, and, uh, so it was a little bit of a letdown for me on those. So I give this movie a three out of five. I, uh, I think I would have given it higher if I didn't see the whole trailer and know everything going into this movie. Uh, but yeah, if you like comic book movies, if you like, you know, action, gunfighting, bombs, uh, I think you'll enjoy this movie for sure. Um, but to wrap this up, let's talk about the after credit scenes because, <clears throat> Excuse me. There isn't an after credit scene. Um, there's uh, when the movie's done, they do kind of like the starring, blah 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 blah, and show you some cool scenes uh, again from the movie. But when the credits start scrolling, you know the typical black and white. Um, you're free to go. Uh, there's nothing going to be after that, unless you want to stick around and see everybody's names who helped bring you this, uh, bring this movie to the big screen. So there you have it. It's Bloodshot, the star is Vin Diesel, it's a Valiant property, and that's my movie review and kind of a little bit on who Bloodshot is. So uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, uh, hit me up in the comments, have you actually ever heard of this character, uh, or am I just the only one who, who didn't know who he was? Um, and yeah, like always, be sure to hit subscribe, that way you're notified for uh, future movie reviews. Thanks guys.